awkward moments everyone can relate to. Woohoo! We're reacting to woohoo! That's the only bit of happiness you will see from me for the rest of this video. It is very likely that at the end of this I will kill myself. That's a reason to keep watching! Did your skirt get stuck? It's a perfect chance to meet somebody. Wanna dance? So if your skirt gets stuck in a door that only opens one way, ladies, just dance with the nearest stranger whilst you twirl it off. And if you're not wearing any knickers, then you're in trouble, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's their advice, not mine. Who's waving at me? Do I know him? Have we met? Well, hello. Oops, he wasn't waving at me. I just decided- I'm not sure if I would feel any better about accidentally waving to a stranger and then doing this, to be honest though, but they know what they're talking about. I just decided to dance, and I'm hailing a cab. Hopefully it wasn't a cab and he's a serial killer. <laughs> hey guys! Oopsies! What an epic falling down! <laughs> if I did that, right, my testicles would tear in half. Did you have too much Coca-Cola? Oh no! A burp wants to break free! A burp wants to break free. To be honest, their burps probably do feel like prisoners being stuck in these stupid heads. <laughs> the burps are trying to kill themselves right now. Anyway, how are they, how are they gonna let the burps die? What should I do? Turn on hard rock music right now and we all growl! <laughs> Yay! Set your inner demons free along with your burp! Yeah! Let's go! Just put rock music on and belch. Why does it smell like garlic and c*** in you? <laughs> Rapunzel, let down your hair and leave your hair extensions on a towel rack. What's Nips gonna do now? But her boyfriend doesn't know about it. He thinks it's just a loofah. Well, using hair extensions as a loofah is a pretty creative life hack. That was the whole thing. If you find hair extensions on your towel radiator, use them as a loofah. Oh, why didn't you just use a loofah? Oh yeah. Kill me. A torn sock on a date? Well. If she's that judgmental, right? Leave. Because she's only going to get worse. How's he going to deal with it man. though? Use your sense of humor <laughs> and acting talent. That's a great way to impress a first date. Take your dirty sock off, put it on your hand, and then put it in her face. Mm. Oh, that one Ooh, how old my dirty sock can. Actually, put chloroform on it as well and really confuse the date. <laughs> then steal all her things and leave. Or take her socks as well. I don't know. I've lost it. <laughs> don't chloroform your first date. At least wait till the third date. I don't. <sighs> Don't use chloroform. Did everybody get into the car? Oops, an odd sound. How embarrassing. Quickly turn this sound into a beatbox. Come on, girls, let's rock this car. Ooh, it's funny, dancing like this and beatboxing makes a terrible smell in you. Don't shit yourself in a car, especially when it hasn't even got four windows. That smell's never gonna escape. Do you remember borrowing headphones from me? Can you give them back? Yeah, sure. Why would you borrow headphones? The earphones. The ones that go in your ears. Don't do that. They are tangled again. Wait a moment. I'll untangle them. Look how bored he is waiting for things to untangle. He must have a really interesting life. Burp into rock songs and shit himself in cars. Untangling headphones takes too much time. There's a life hack. Use them the way they are. We are so close. And that's very interesting. The hack to have entangled up headphones is to not untangle them. Whoa. This actually works everywhere. The hack to fixing gonorrhea is to never get it in the first place. Actually, that is the hack. Maybe they are right, actually. I'm not sure what gonorrhea is, so don't start thinking that's something that's close to me. Actually, what is... <laughs> it's not, I swear. I don't know what it is. Hey, Google. What's gonorrhea? Oh. Oh, it's got some words I can't even read, but I know they're not good. I don't got that. Yet. Are your hands occupied, but your legs are not? 
de Soleil, I'm coming. To be fair, I do that. If I'm carrying my dinner tray and the living room door's still closed, just use my foot. I got perfect balance. Monkey feet. If you've got them, use them. My stretched leg can reach the trunk. Okay, I'm not that good. Okay, I'm not. I'm just saying. I can get it about waist height. I ain't closing car boots with my foots. Ah. <laughs> Hi, guys. Haven't seen you in a long time. In such a long time that you managed to lose a lot of weight. Even your jeans. If you walk into the room and your friend is constantly looking down there, he might be into you. I'm just saying, he shouldn't. Shouldn't. Blah. Use a life hack. Pass the button of your jeans through a belt loop. And your jeans become smaller right away. Oh, wait. Oh, I've just thought of this invention. It's called a belt. Ah, ah. I can't get it off. Ah, um, you get this brown thing, right? And is it black? Black thing and check this on it, and then you. It's a just get a belt. <laughs> it wasn't even worth it. I'm ready to have fun, and my jeans are ready too. I honestly now I am gonna kill myself. He should not have just done that. Fun, and my jeans are ready too. Why does that make me so mad? Oh, it looks like someone has a tummy. How embarrassing. Fat shame, isn't we? Maybe I'm saying that because I got a tummy, but uh, screw you. I'll make a corset out of plastic wrap. Tummy, hide. Deeper. And I'm back to being fit. Hi, ladies. Wow. Wow, they all love him now. They didn't like him when his belly was a centimetre further forward. He was off the charts, no thanks. But centimetre less belly? <laughs> I'll marry him tomorrow. Not me, I wouldn't. I'm taken. Gold. What do you call gold diggers but for only bellies? Belly diggers. Belly diggers? God, I hate belly diggers. I just finished my makeup. Oh god! My light jumper <gasps> got stained! Oh no, she just put her makeup on, right? And the jumper touched her nose and it all jumped off onto the jumper just then. Watch again now. Oh god, my light jumper got stained. Ugh. Ugh. I hate it when somebody presses my nose and then my beard jumps off. It happens all the time, I swear. I know a good hack for her. Put a carrier bag over your head, tie it. That's the hack. Put a bag on your head. Oh, <laughs> he was on to something. No one is getting kidnapped. <laughs> I'm just putting my jumper on. And my makeup won't get ruined. But it's all in the bag. You surely it should have jumped into the bag. By the way, kids at home, don't put carry bags on your head. You will die. Just seriously, don't do it. Uh, just uh. Oh, I need to touch up my lip makeup. Is there a mirror here? Great. In the forest, there should be plenty. Oops. It's so messy. I wonder why you were not pulled over yet. That was a hack, apparently. If you're in the forest and your makeup isn't tidy for any serial killers in the bushes, just find a car mirror. Oh, he's back. Dancing again. Did your headphones get unplugged? And everyone in the line can hear your music? Take advantage of this moment. Wow, he sings very well. Do you think they've ever met actual other people before? If I did that next to a burger van over by here, I'm getting beaten up. You can't get away with it. Oh no, is the zipper on your pants broken? What do I have to do? Here, put on a fanny pack. It will cover your problem. Awesome. If your zipper's broke on your trousers, cover it with something. What? I can do that? Oh, just... Like, go and get out the trousers or something. Uh, what if, um, what if Rico hasn't got a fanny pack on him? Then what's the hack? Upset stomach? Apparently that burrito wasn't very fresh. Don't worry, just fart in the car and beatbox. <laughs> we already know what to do. <laughs> very embarrassing. Thank goodness there is an air freshener here. Shove it up your ass. Then when you fart, it'll smell like Christmas trees. <clears throat> I'll attach it to the back pocket of my jeans with a keychain ring. 
This tree smells better than I do. Seriously? I mean, it was pretty close to be fair. My friend takes my phone without asking me first all the time. Chloroform sock. Get him. Mm. There are a lot of personal things on it. I need to block it. I'll attach a little fake spider to the case. Take a spider. <laughs> Bingo. But now he knows it's fake, so... Um, he's just gonna take your phone again. If you've got friends that are always stealing things from you, um, new friends. Mmm, this ice cream is amazing. Oops, I spilled it on the chair. Mm. Oh no, your jeans got dirty. Oh no, what are they gonna do? Oh, wipe it off. I would. Gonna... <laughs> oh, look at that, it's gone. No, I'd scream in panic. Calm down. We'll fix it. Wrap it around <laughs> your waist and no one will notice it. Whoa, you can wrap t-shirts around your waist. Oh my god. I didn't know you could do that. So if you need to hide something, hide it. No. No. And there was me thinking that this was going to be crap and uninformative, this video. Now I can put ice cream on my bum whenever I please. There we are, guys. That was it. That was all the friendly, excellent hacks for awkward moments. Now you know when to use a chloroform sock, when to put ice cream on your bum, when to stick a Christmas tree smelly up your arnas. Oh, would you look at the time? I'm just going to go jump out the window, okay? Bye. Uh... Not really. I'm too lazy.